Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different today. As you guys can see, we are in the garage, which is also my home gym and home office. Hope you guys like the new setup. Got some lights. We got the feature classic poster framed, and then we also have my diplomas framed. I think it looks super clean, super nice. Just trying to spice up the garage. You already know we have the neon F80 ho sign over there. But yeah, in today's video, you guys already saw the title. We're gonna be going over how much did I pay for my HRE wheels. To this day, it still is surreal that I have three piece HRE wheels, like, I can't believe it. I don't know how I went from driving like a 2012 VW Jetta a couple of years ago to moving into my F30 328 that some of you guys know about and then moving into my dream car, which is the F80, let alone getting my dream wheels, which are HREs, you know, finished in black now. For those of you guys that are new here, my HREs did not start in the black color that they are now. This is actually the third variation that these wheels have seen. I will go over that in this video, of course. But before we get into this one, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, hit the bell, subscribe for future content, follow your boy on Instagram. I've completely switched to posting reels now because that's what IG likes. So if you guys wanna see some more content there, make sure you guys give me a follow if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now let's get into it. All I gotta say is if you're watching this, and you, you know, aspire to have some dream wheels like this, whether it be HRE, BBS, Apex, any of those, you know, reputable wheel companies out there, just grind, do your best, whether it be in work, school, whatever you're grinding for in life, kill it, do your best, and then, you know, you'll reach your goal one day, just like I did, so that's my advice to you guys. I have a lot of people on Instagram asking me all the time, like, what do I do, and how did I get here? And hard work and dedication, just like everybody says. <laughs> but getting into this video, beginning with my F80, I have the competition, so it came with the 666M wheels uh, that everybody loves but also hates to clean. So after about a year and a half of ownership, I began thinking about you know wanting to upgrade my wheels. Everybody knows that the wheels are the biggest mod that you can do to your car. It completely changes the look. It you know adds a unique touch and flair, and it has you know your own personal touch to it essentially. You know, you have so many different styles, colors. You can go for the track setup, the stance setup. You can go fully forged or just do something custom. So, so the options are limitless. And again, you can put your personal touch on it. So I think adding wheels to any car, you know, just spices it up that much more. You know, we see people with aftermarket wheels on Instagram or Facebook all the time. And me being a car person, I knew for sure that I wanted some aftermarket wheels on my car one day. I was looking at BBS, I was looking at HRE, but I never thought I would get like the top of the line, like, you know, fully forged three piece or two piece wheels because, because let's be honest, I can't afford that. And you know, not a lot of people can afford $10,000, $12,000 wheels. <laughs> so in a second here, I'm gonna go on HRE's website and actually show you guys how much my HRE S101s go for retail. And then I'll dive into the story of how I actually got these, how much I paid for them. And then I'll also insert some clips probably from the day that we picked it up. That video was amazing in itself. It's probably one of the happiest days in the car world for me personally. So it all began when I was sitting in class one day and I was just like, you know what? I ran the comp wheels and so many people have the comp wheels that it's time for change and I wanted to upgrade you know, to something aftermarket but not too expensive. So, so I started on Beamer Post and I was checking it every night. People that are close to me know that I am the king of finding deals. I'm always on Beamer Post, always on the F8X Facebook pages or even Facebook Marketplace. I always happen to find amazing deals, whether it be on Aero, interior goodies, wheels, you name it. I've probably found a crazy deal on it. So always be on the lookout. That's my advice to people. You really don't have to buy new car parts if you don't want to because you can always find it secondhand for probably half the price. All right, so before I go into the story of like how I got these wheels and how much I paid for them, let's go online and check out HRE's website. I'll put it on the screen now. Go to hrewheels.com. Shout out to HRE, you guys see the hat and the shirt, always repping. So let's go see how much my HRE on my F80 right now cost brand new. <laughs> if you guys were gonna go and spec them out yourself. Let's see how baller you guys need to be to uh, buy these wheels brand new. And if you got it like that, hey, kudos to you, but I'll tell you what, I personally would never buy these wheels brand new because you know I could be using that money uh, for investments, I could be using that for savings and other things in life, traveling, you know, buying another property. So let's see how much these wheels are and then you guys comment down below if you guys would buy these wheels brand new. So looking at their website, we see all of their wheels here. They have monoblock, two-piece, three-piece, and their newest addition, which is the carbon wheels that go for 
you guys see it right there, $6,300 each. And that's not even with tires. Hey, maybe one day if we win the lottery or we make it big, you know, maybe we can get the carbon wheels, but yeah, $6,300 each. You can do a lot with $6,300, I'll tell you that. But moving down the line, uh, which is close to mine, this is the uh, S101 right here, but we are going to go down to Series S1, which is coming up, I believe. Here we go. Series S1. These are starting at $3,225 each. Let's click into it. So these are my wheels right here. They are the HRE S101's three-piece forged wheels. You guys see it right here, $3,200 each. Let's pull out the calculator for you guys to see that. The total for four wheels without tires, without mounting them is $13,000. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've actually never looked this up. I actually thought these wheels were about 10 grand, so like 2,500 each. But now that I know that these wheels are $13,000 brand new, it's like, <laughs> you guys are gonna freak out when I tell you how much I pay for these wheels. Looking at this price, you guys are gonna freak out. Like I'm freaking out, like just seeing how much this costs and then how much I got them for is an absolute steal. <laughs> this is crazy. But as you guys can see, like I love my HRE wheels. This design right here is so sick uh, with the exposed hardware. And then you have the Y spoke design that I love, like the 763M style from BMW. These are available in 18, 19, all the way up to 24. And then you guys can request your own spec, your own color. I mean, holy, look at all the colors you have to choose from. I obviously have a satin black or matte black face and a gloss black barrel right now. This is actually the second variation since I've been an owner of the car and I actually got them refinished a while back uh, before BMW Invasion last year or this year. And I got them done with a polished lip and a clear raw face. I'll put a couple videos and pictures up as I'm talking about them. So I freaking love the polished lip but the raw clear face wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I really wanted something maybe a little darker than it came out with, so you had some contrast to it. So I rode that out for about a couple months and I knew deep down inside the second I picked up the wheels, uh, you guys probably couldn't see it on my face because I was hiding all the emotions obviously, but I knew right away that this wasn't gonna last. I knew I was gonna get them refinished to the black that you guys know now because I've always wanted a black on black BMW with red interior and that's what I have now. That's what I had on my F30. So I wanted to keep that dream alive, of course. So that's why we went back to the black <laughs> that we have now. But yeah, it's just crazy because these are $3,200 each. It's freaking insane. But going back to the wheel story, I was sitting in class one day, browsing Beamer Post, browsing Facebook, and I stumbled upon a local actually in Tampa who had HRE flow forms in black posted up for sale or trade. I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys now to see. This is a very common wheel from HRE. I think they are around like two or $3,000 new. So they are more affordable and they are marketed towards, you know, affordability and kind of getting your foot in the door uh, with aftermarket wheels. Obviously with a big reputable brand like HRE, I immediately messaged the guy and told him I was down to trade my competition wheels and add a little cash on top. We went back and forth for like a week or two about like how much cash on top, if I came to Tampa and drove there, if he would lower the price. We went back and forth. I think we agreed on like $300 or $400 and I was gonna go to him one weekend when we were free. But long story short, his car was in the shop and the wheels were on his car and the shop wouldn't let him take the wheels off until they were done with his car. So we went back and forth for like three weeks and at the end of the three weeks, I think he just goes to me. So I was like, screw this guy. I'm like tired of waiting, going back and forth with him. It was super annoying. So I went back to the drawing board, checked Beamer Post, checked Facebook. And then I stumbled upon this listing, another local in Tampa. And he had these HRE S101s, the ones that are on my car. They were finished in a frozen dark clear and a brushed dark clear. And they weren't like clear coated on top of it. So it was just like the raw metal. But I didn't know that until I saw them in person. But this local was selling them in Tampa for I think 
about like 5500 which is a very normal price for like aftermarket three-piece wheels or HRE or BBS. You'll see a lot of wheels online going for like five to six grand even nowadays. So at first I was like, there's no way I can't afford $5,500 right now. And that's not even trading in my comps and adding cash. That's 5,500 out of the pocket. I was still in school. I was still working, paying off bills and whatnot. So for those of you guys that think I got it like that back then, <laughs> it wasn't like that. Again, it's all about finding deals and making things happen. And that's exactly what we did. So I messaged him and asked him if he was interested in trading for my silver comps. And then I was going to add cash on top. At first, I think he said like he wanted $2,500 or $3,000 cash on top. I think my max budget was like maybe like 2000 and that was me pushing my budget at the time like i had other stuff to pay for and other things to save for in life <laughs> if my fiance is watching this she'll probably kill me <laughs> but yeah we went back and forth for a little bit he was super cool super chill and i knew he had the listing up for a while at first i think he wanted like 3k on top and then i just saw the listing just sit there for like a month and then two months passed and then I think I just messaged him one day and lowballed the shit out of him. There's no way that I thought he was actually going to respond to it because it was completely, you know, left field. And I said, yo, I'll come tomorrow to Tampa and I'll give you $1,100 cash. $1,100 because if you guys do the math silver comp wheels i think go for around like 2000 maybe 2500 you know 3000 on top of those would be the aftermarket value of these hr8 wheels so going back to the story i told him yo i'll trade you my comps and i'll give you 1100 dollars cash and i'll come tomorrow and i think like 30 minutes went by he didn't answer i was like there's no way he's gonna answer that's extremely low it was probably insulting to him is what i thought because if someone told me that for my hr8 wheels i'd be like yeah go find somebody else but 30 minutes later, I think he responded and he was like, you know what, like, fuck it. Like, I'm trying to sell the car and I've had these wheels up for like three months. Like, if you come tomorrow, we'll make it happen. And so lo and behold, he actually worked at the dealership over in Tampa. Austin, if you're watching this, thank you, my man. <laughs> thank you for letting my dreams come true. So that night, I literally couldn't go to sleep. It was like Christmas, like my mind was racing. I thought, you know, the deal was going to fall through just like the previous HRE one did. And you know, all these thoughts kept flowing through my head. Like, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna fit? Is everything gonna go as planned? So you know, I was freaking out and I stormed over to Tampa. I'll insert some videos now from that vlog. I'll also link it up on the uh, top right hand corner for you guys to watch. Definitely check it out. It's definitely a fun one. I was so excited. It was so surreal. Like I couldn't believe like, one, the price I was getting these wheels for, and two, that I was gonna get HRE wheels. It really is mind blowing to me. It's freaking awesome to think about. So we got to the dealership, he took the car back, and luckily after like an hour or two, he got the wheels to fit. We had to flip some spacers around. We both got a little worried at one point that the wheels weren't even gonna fit because of some spacer issues. But after a while, Austin got them to fit. And yeah, you guys will see on the screen now, like what they look like when they first were on my car. They actually look bronze because they were so dirty. I think he said he hadn't washed them in like three months or something. So they definitely needed a deep clean. But at that point, I didn't care because I had HRE wheels on my F80 M3. And that's all that mattered. People of the world, I think I could cry right now. This shit looks so hard. Yo, check it out. They're dirty as shit. But check it out part of the HRE gang now let's go so I drove back to Orlando with a huge smile on my face I don't even think I listened to music on that drive I just smiled all the way home and like when I got home into this garage it was just like a surreal moment and so that essentially wraps up the uh, HRE story how much I paid for them but let me know what you guys think about the price and how I got them it's all about finding a good deal and finding a steal after we got back to Orlando, shout out to F30 Skirt and Towsons. They helped me clean up the wheels before I actually went and dropped them off to get refinished the first time. So that's basically my hero story with my HRE wheels. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Different type of video today, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys check out HRE wheels. I mean, they are top of the line. I know some of you guys are team BBS, but to each their own, you know what I mean? So if you guys enjoy this one, make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, subscribe for future content, hit the bell, follow your boy on Instagram. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, peace.